know, ever since I was young, that I can remember, I always liked working on things. I just felt like that was going to be an important part of my life. So one of my thoughts was, you know, I love being around people too, so why not kind of combine it? And that's one thing I wanted to really do is just, you know, try to help people and do something positive. I chose this area for one reason. It was because I had one opportunity out of all the cities I looked at in Indiana, looking for a practice that would basically end up mine. And I came up with one place, and it was in South Bend, Indiana, and it was a dentist, Dr. Huff, great guy, class act, and it was a one-chair office with one staff member. I think there were only 200 charts, meaning 200 patients that were active at the time. So we did start to grow, and within a year I could tell that was not going to be enough. At the one year mark, started planning for building an office, and I built another office, or second office, I should say, on Hickory, on Hickory Catalpa, which has been taken over by another dentist. As technologies changed and, and different th and things changed within the office, then I decided we needed a whole different floor plan. So th the next go around, I built this office, which I think the environment too is um, comfortable, and I've worked hard on trying to provide that so that when you come in, it doesn't feel like a dental office or look like a dental office versus the traditional dental office. I've tried to break away from that and get something that's more relaxing. There are a lot of things that uh, I think set us apart. First of all, I feel like our service is very good. It's uh, not a large group practice. It's a small practice in terms of like there's one dentist. Then it comes down to also our techniques and our technology that we have here. So we use a lot of state-of-the-art technology and uh, the techniques, I'm constantly trying to grow and add on those techniques to help people out with that so that we can do more for them and uh, not just a select narrow group of services. My mission is to hopefully change the face of dentistry a little bit so that this stigma of it's painful, it's scary, um, dreadful, uh, we can make that a lot easier and hopefully change it for a lot of people. And that's when I incorporated the IV sedation was I felt like we could use that tool to take those people who just simply don't go. Because so I come in every day and I just try to give it my best every day. I mean, I really do. So some days it can be, you know, one thing and other days it can be another. So, and it, it's sometimes maybe a little tricky to read somebody and figure out if they're having a bad day in general or whether they just don't want to be here, but you just try to be as positive as you can. And just, stay focused on them. But you do have to be on your A-game every day because in order to provide customer service, even if you're having a bad day, you gotta leave it at the door. And you gotta come in and you've gotta work hard on focusing on what's in front of you and being positive and helping that person out and forget about your own stuff. Just change it from when you pull into the parking lot and walk in the door to you sit in the chair and you go back out of here. Hopefully it's a whole lot easier than you've ever remembered it. That is my goal.